Thank you for calling Hypernury Bank. My name is Joshua. How may I help you today? Hi. So I'm calling because I'm looking for some help. Listen, I'm going through a very difficult financial situation and I'm getting desperate. So here's what happened. I got a juicy loan with the mafia a few months ago because I needed money and uh, now those uh, ruffian looking guys pulled up at my place and they are charging me the money so I'm supposed to pay the money as soon as next Monday and if I don't pay them the money they are going to kill me and my family so I'm really scared the problem is that I don't have the money and to make uh, matters worse uh, the loan I got, which is a juicy loan, um, has usurious uh, rates and, and that's crazy. It's making me crazy. I don't know what to do. I don't have any way out and I don't want to lose my family. I don't, I don't want to get killed. Uh, so I'm looking for a consolidation loan. Uh, what do I need to do for getting that type of loan in order to pay? Uh, that crazy loan off. Can you help me out with that? I see. Okay, I will try to help you. But of course, this will depend on a risk analysis that we will have to carry out through our report agency. The review process is akin to applying for a credit. A loan issuer generally goes through at least one major credit reporting bureau to check your credit. This helps our bank to determine if you are a risky customer for a new credit. And in order to do that, I am going to need certain information from you, sir. I can give you my information. My name is Emmanuel Quesada. My phone number is 81220 My security number is 12679900219. My address is California 402402. Uh, what else do you need from me? My email address, uh, Emmanuel Quesada at hotmail.com. My workplace, I work for 3WT company. My job position, uh, logistics. Okay, Mr. Quesada, everything sounds good. I'm going to send you an email with a formal form in order for you to fill out with all the information required from our end. And then we can start the whole process. Okay, I requested a credit score report last year and it wasn't that good because uh, here is what happened. I took a loan uh, two years ago with another bank and I never paid him the money because I lost my job and I didn't have money and so it hurt my credit score. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it is no longer there in, in their records. I spoke uh, with an Equifax representative and apparently uh, it is no longer there in their records. So I'm supposed to uh, have a clean credit score report, meaning that I'm good to go for getting another loan with the bank. So can you uh, review it for me or what can I do? I'm so desperate. I need to get a loan as soon as possible because those guys are going to kill me. Yes, sir. I understand the situation, but our bank needs to verify banking history before approving a new customer's loan. This is actually uh, going to make me cry because it is putting a lot of financial burden on my shoulders and I don't know what to do now. My wife has been crying a lot because of these and I know that I put her in a very bad situation. We're both uh, between the devil and the deep blue sea. My kids don't know about this. Uh, but listen, if you uh, lend me some money, I can put up my property as uh, collateral or I can put up my car, uh, security, whatever. But I need a loan as soon as possible. Can you help me out with that? Mr. Kusada, I just sent you the email with the form and the info required. Once you send me back the information needed, I will send it to our reporting agency and they will let us know whether you qualify for a loan or not in accordance with the National Consumer Law Center, of course. So I will give you the call back as soon as I get the result. Okay, so you're going to give me a call back? Yes, sir. I'm going to call you back. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Yes, for sure. 
Okay, thank you. I'll be waiting for that call. 3 p.m. Okay, perfect. By 3 p.m., yes. I'm available by 3 p.m. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Casal. I really hope you're doing wonderful today. Uh, I just received the report and I'm afraid I will have to be the better of bad news today. Sir, you have been blacklisted in the National Consumer Credit Score system. It doesn't necessarily mean you won't have access to a checking or other account for the next five years. Some banks and credit unions offer people with blemished history so-called second chance checking account. But for us, it's just impossible to approve a loan for you, Mr. Casada. The report shows items such as unpaid fees primarily from overdrafts, checks bounced at retailers, and suspected fraud. So unfortunately, we cannot do anything about your request. Damn it! Are you telling me that you cannot do anything because I have a bad credit score? Is that the answer that you are giving me at this moment? You are a bank and I'm sure that you guys have a lot of money right there in the vaults and you have money to spare. You can lend as much money as you want. Just because I have a bad credit score, it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna pay you the money back. What makes you think that I'm a, a welch? I'm going to pay that money back. I'm just requesting a consolidation loan because I need to consolidate all my debts. And what worries me the most is that those guys threaten my life. I don't want them to wipe out my wife, nor do I want them to behead my kids, and I don't want to get assassinated. That's totally crazy, and I don't even want to think that it's going to happen. I, I need to pay that money as soon as Monday, and if I don't do it, I already know the result because they pulled up at my place and those uh, hooligans already told me what they were going to do and they were holding guns, they were holding some knives and I know that they were going to slash through my throat and that scares me a lot. So again, I understand that you guys don't want to put your money at risk. You guys want to make sure that whoever uh, borrows money from you is gonna pay back and that makes a lot of sense I know it makes a lot of sense because back then uh, when I was younger I would uh, lend money to other people and I would go through the same situation because I didn't want to put my money at risk but anyway so right now I'm just imploring you I am begging you for help because I need you to save my life my life is at risk my financial situation is horrible that's putting a lot of burden on my shoulders and I'm just asking you for nine thousand dollars to consolidate all my debts can you please do something for me yes sir unfortunately I can't do anything about your situation so you were useless you don't want to do anything for me just because i have a bad credit score i know i made a mistake two years ago i didn't pay a loan back and it hurt my credit score i understand but i'm gonna pay you guys the money back i promise i can put up my car as security can put up my house as security i can put anything or whatever you want me to as collateral as long as you allow me to uh, take a loan from you because I really need it. I know, I know, but it's impossible for me, sir. No, this is so frustrating. Uh, you, you guys are making me waste my time and don't want to help me whatsoever. Can I talk to somebody who's more useful than you because you don't want to do anything? Can I talk to your supervisor or someone else, someone higher than you? No, no, they cannot do anything about your situation either. You mean they cannot do anything for me? No, sir. Unfortunately, no. You know what? You're making me waste my time. Have a good day. Okay, sir. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.